This thing hanging off the side of my Jeep is the Overland Systems car side shower room. Welcome to Muddy Ruts Overlanding. In this video, I'll show you how I installed this car side shower room onto the side of my Jeep, why I decided to put it on the Jeep, and then I'll show you how it operates. This video is unsponsored. I bought this piece of gear with my own money. I'm making the video just to share my experience with it. It's not a review because I haven't actually used it yet. I've never even opened it. This is the first time I'm going to open it today in the video. So I won't be able to make a review until I've used it many times to give an honest review. Thanks for joining me here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I bought this several months ago and had it sitting in the garage. I didn't really see a need for it because I was always pitching my privacy shelter separately from the vehicle. The last trip I took was a solo overlanding trip to the Rice Valley Wilderness. And on that trip, I realized I really could have used this. It would have been a lot easier just to drop this down to have a privacy shelter next to the Jeep instead of having to pitch uh, an entire separate privacy shelter. This unit is made by Overland Vehicle Systems and they call it a car side shower room. The unit is supplied with mounting hardware consisting of eight nuts and bolts and two angle brackets. I added four unistrut nuts and three eighths bolts for my particular mounting application. Before I can mount the shower room, I'll have to drill out the holes on the long side of the bracket to accommodate the three eighths bolts and unistrut nuts. The small bolts slide into a track on the back plate of the shelter. The angle brackets are then fastened to the plate. The tracks allow for adjustment of the angle brackets. I have the Rhino backbone rack installed on my Jeep. That makes a strong attachment point for the shower room. I decided to mount the angle brackets in the Rhino rack first. The Unistrut nuts will secure the angle bracket to the bar. I took a measurement so I could set the bolts on the shower room plate in the right place. The bolts slide into the track easily and allow for a lot of adjustment for various type of mounting applications. Now I have to line the bolts up with the holes in the brackets. This would be a much easier job with two people. With a little bit of a struggle, I managed to get it done, get the bolts lined up and get the nuts started on the back. The only thing left to do is make the necessary adjustments and tighten all the nuts and bolts down. With all that done, the shower room is mounted and ready to go on an overlanding trip. Let's find out how this thing works. If you're finding value in the video, please help me by liking and subscribing, leaving your comments, help me build this channel. Thank you very much. So let me try opening this up for the first time. I haven't read the instructions but I think it's pretty straightforward. It's got this zipper. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it. I'm gonna pull the cover out of the way a little ways here. Looks like we have a couple of Velcro straps here. I'm gonna guess we take these off. Move the camera around, hopefully get a little better view. Now you have these bars you swing out. Up here in the corners, looks like you, this little bar, snap that over and that'll hold that up in place. I'm not gonna stake it down right now but if you did have it staked down 
You can come around here and on the back corner is a zipper. This will be your way in and out. Go right in. So now I'm inside. There's a couple little pockets on either side. Uh, plenty of room. Has these two zippers in the back with a flap. would imagine that if you had this set up on the window or on the door you could open the window and hand things through or leave stuff sitting on your seat and reach through well sure does open up easy there's a lot of adjustment up here feels pretty strong you can stake it down now let's see how easily this shower shelter folds up and fits back into its enclosure. I've had plenty of gear that came with a bag that you either almost couldn't or could not at all get back into the bag. The right bar folds under the left bar. Once you have the top flattened out, you can arrange the rods at the bottom properly. Now it's a matter of rolling the material up and securing it to the mounting plate with the Velcro straps that are mounted on the mounting plate. Now that it's rolled up nice and tight and secured with the Velcro straps, you simply pull the cover back over and start the process of stuffing the straps in out of the way and zipping up the cover. With the cover completely zipped up, you're ready to go. I'm actually a little reluctant to add anything to my overlanding rig. It's just more weight. In this case, it's more wind resistance. Maybe I'm gonna lose a little fuel mileage with this hanging off the side. But at this point, after my last trip, I think it's going to be useful enough to make it worthwhile. Hopefully I've given you a pretty good overview of how to install and operate this car side shower shelter. Thanks for joining me on a beautiful day in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and I'll see you on the next video.